Are you coming soon to me? No parking in the bay. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. Good morning, you guys. Hello, welcome back to another. I think I have to sneeze. Good welcome back to another vlog. I have never ever done a monthly reset on this channel. I don't even think I've ever done a monthly reset in my life. I'm gonna be so honest. I'm very much a weekly reset type of person. I'm gonna make this something that I do every single month before the month starts. I feel like it could be very productive. Since we're going to be gone this weekend, we're gonna be in Northern California because the 49ers are playing. We're just like watching the game with like family and stuff. <laughs> wanted to make sure that the house was perfect basically just do a monthly reset there's lots of stuff that needs to be like decluttered and things that just need to be done at the end of the month that i don't usually do so i compiled a nice little list for us when i first woke up i was having period pains okay if you see my diapy back here don't worry about it i'm wearing my little depends panties because they just work so freaking good so well they go up kind of far on the butt crack so like <laughs> they're kind of a little bit uncomfortable when you're sleeping or if you put on leggings you can't feel them at all it's kind of just like the first initial time you put it on it definitely is a little bit uncomfortable it feels like a diaper the first thing that i know i really really want to get done is cleaning out the fridge and the pantry just tons of stuff that we don't eat stuff that just needs to be thrown out from the fridge this is what the fridge is looking like and there's just a lot of shit that's never ever gonna get touched again. Like all these creamers. Like I really thought, no. <laughs> this salsa, like he said he was gonna eat it and babes, should I keep it? It's public salsa. I miss public. Next, I'm going to do the pantry and fruit bowl. Yes, this avocado. Like, there's indents in it that's and mold on it. Okay, these tomatoes. Gotta go. Lemons. At least I eat more than goes to waste, but sometimes when I'm throwing stuff away, it's like, damn. I just hate wasting food, but sometimes it just doesn't all get eaten, you know? Fruit bowl full of oranges. <sighs> the pantry is just something that is so easy to get corroded with stuff that you just have no clue what's in here. Like, so many avocados. You guys know I love avocado toast. I already know that this one's bad. Oh, God. I got some potatoes in here. Lord knows how long these have been in here. They look like they're from the Stone Ages. <laughs> they got eyeballs. I know where to put my Alani's. So they're all right here. I actually need to make my friend a bag of stuff that I am not gonna use. There's one Alani pre-workout that I don't like. Hold on. I put it over, oh yeah, the Hawaiian Shave Ice. I don't like that flavor in any of their stuff. I literally gave it away to people in Florida because I just, it's not, a favorite of mine. I think they have so many better flavors. Y'all know I love my Alani Nude, but this, it's, it's not giving. And my friend that I like go to Pilates in the gym with, she loves pre-workout. So I'm gonna make her like a little bag of some stuff she can have. Like some of these coffees that we don't drink. I have another pack of Alani right here. This one I love, the Cherry Slush. Love it, but it takes me forever to drink these. And they said they were sending me another package. I think they might have sent it to the address in Florida. I might need to message them, but um, yeah, they said they were gonna send me new stuff anyways. My containers up here are still looking pretty good. These nuts are old though, so I'm going to toss these out. I really love nuts. Yes, this is like one of my favorite snacks. So I had to start buying the little snack packs because it was really overeating the bags. Like I just love nuts. I don't know when to stop. I love trail mix, all of that. So I bought these little snack packs because these are just like perfect. They're the perfect serving size. Um, so I'm just gonna stick them in the nut container.
I get my weed from California. That's that shit. I took my dick up to the north, yeah. Badass bitch. I get my life right from the source, yeah. Yeah, that's it. And I see you. Oh, oh. The way I breathe you in. It's the texture of your skin. I wanna wrap my arms around you, baby. Never let you go. Oh, oh. And I see you. I'm filling up the bag for my friend that I'm gonna take her tonight because I'm gonna see her when we go to Pilates. Also, I found another Hawaiian shave that I spray workout. I told you guys, they literally send me like bottles of this stuff and I just don't like this flavor. I'm going to put all this stuff in here. I got the pre-workouts, all of the drinks. I also get PR from Liquid IV. They're literally my favorites, but I cannot drink that much Liquid IV. So I have bowls and bowls of just like packets of Liquid IV. So I'm going to also throw in some Liquid IV. Hope she likes Liquid IV. While my camera was charging, I emptied the dishwasher, cleaned out all the nasty stuff that was in the fridge and like cleaned out the sink and all. And now I'm going to rinse down the appliances. Wipes are my favorite. They also have the spray. The countertops need a good clean, so I'm gonna use my magic eraser. Don't touch it. This is definitely seen better days. I switch out every month. I get a pack from Costco. One of these packs from Costco. My last kitchen one. The kitchen ones have like Dawn in them. Do you see those little blue dots? They come with four extra durables, three kitchens, three baths. The kitchens have Dawn and the bath ones have lavender for breeze. I get switched out every single month. I don't usually do this unless I'm drunk or I'm high, but I'm both right now and I need you in my life. I don't usually do this unless I'm drunk or I'm high, but I'm both. Just for reference to show you guys how disgusting the magic eraser gets. Look at how much dirt that is. That's just the island. Hold on, let me get the paper towel. This is just from the island and I clean this every week. Are y'all seeing that dirt? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the magic eraser doesn't fucking play around. <laughs> okay. it is actually the next day um yesterday <laughs> i spilled chocolate milk all over myself and all over my dining room tables which are like sherpa and then my day was ruined it wasn't ruined but i was just like ah, what a vibe killer butter killer okay we are now finishing the next day and we leave tomorrow for Northern California, so I'm just trying to get everything done. Took a little boba break, made some boba before we're getting back into it right now. And I wanted to start by washing the washing machine. I haven't done this like literally since I moved in, but I figure what better time? These little like A Fresh things from I got them from Target, and they're basically like washing machine cleaner basically you throw it in there this is what it looks like over the package i'm just gonna clap it in here and then just do it on a normal cycle i'm just gonna clean the washing machine i literally haven't done this like since i moved in i don't even remember if i did it when i moved in i think i did because i did like a deep clean when i first moved in you're like technically supposed to do it every month like that's what they recommend but it's like you don't really have to do that but i want to start doing it every month just because it helps remove like odors grime residues you know all that type of stuff so yeah that is first and then next we are going to probably head upstairs 
to the bathroom and work on the bathroom. I really want to declutter my bathroom like storage underneath because it's like not practical. I don't know like I just feel like it's not practical. It needs to be completely like redone and like cleaned out. It needs to get rid of old products you know that type of business. So let's get upstairs and do that. I honestly don't know what's going on under here but I just know that it doesn't work. Like whatever's going on under here is not functional. It's not practical for me. I need to change things. I actually wanted to put this in the um, shower, but it has these stickers on it and I don't know if they're gonna come off. I just have to make sure that they are regularly getting washed and all cause I don't want it to like get moldy or nasty, but I have like all these tools, okay? And I just feel like they don't have a home and it was bothering me. Like I really didn't like that. And you know how it goes when I see you again. You know I'm making my way to your ends. And you know I need you to be there for me. You a little post so baby. You a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. She gon' take off like a Okay, went through my everyday makeup case just to take out anything that was old and all the brushes because we're going to do a brush clean, obviously, because I just don't even know when the last time that I cleaned my brush was. <laughs> I'm going to put my everyday makeup case in here under the sink because I literally had it just in this drawer over here with a bunch of like extra makeup bags and that's gotta go like this is wasting prime space for me do you see like all these bags dust bags like just random shit so that was like literally wasting an entire drawer for no reason here's my clean brushes so I'm gonna find a spot for them in here as well. Where, I don't know, maybe right here. But I know you probably caught side. No, I gotta come and check the whole man, baby. Hold tight. I just touched the city with the cheap block stainers. And we got adopted by some fit for strangers. You know what it means when I twist these fingers. Me and you being on a first name basis. Why you think I hate it when you talk that great shit? Same reason that you- All right, you guys, I just finished in the bathroom I was kind of just like rearranging stuff in my room and making the bed making sure everything just like made sense but the rugs in the bathroom it's been months since I've washed these I don't wash them frequently I need to get better at that but that's real that's what's going on so we need to get all the rugs in the bathroom I actually just ordered another uh, rug it said it was coming today i need to check but i didn't like the feel and the look of two rugs with the like dual sink because the sink is like a double sink so i wanted one long one also the white it was getting bleh it was like getting bleh because everything in here is white my soap bottles white towels white robe white the hooks white everything in here was white and it just like where is the fucking color don't get me wrong i love my neutrals i love my whites i love all that stuff but no it was just like giving me bland every time i walked in here i was like this is bothering me like we need some color so i ordered a nice pretty fluffy rug from amazon it should be coming today, so hopefully we get to unbox that and you guys can see it. These were the original rugs for in front of the sink, but I just moved one in front of the bathtub and one in front of the toilet. So it all works out like the rugs still are still in here. These are going to get washed right now and bleached, and I want to make this like a monthly thing. I want to make washing the rugs a monthly thing because some of the stuff I just neglect, like... I'm really good about weekly cleaning, but like the things they need to get done monthly bags, they just don't get done. So, yeah, the rug, look at it. She's so 
so plushy. Oh my god. I ordered it because it's literally said it was so plush. And oh my god, it's amazing. Love it. I love the blue. This is freaking adorable and it is so soft. Perfect for my toesies. I ordered it because people said it was so soft. <gasps> it's so gorgeous. I almost got the eight foot, but I was so nervous that the eight foot was gonna be too big. This is the two by six. <gasps> she looks so cute. One of my goals next month is to make things easier for myself. I've been finishing reading the Atomic Habits book. And in that book, I literally just passed the chapter where you need to like make things easier for yourself to build better habits. Under my TV stand, I have these baskets right here. They have nothing in them. The one in the middle has Harley and Sadie's toys, but I have two baskets on the end and I want to put workout clothes in them. I feel like if I wake up and I see the workout clothes in here, maybe I'll be more inclined to work out. I don't know. It says take little steps like that in the book to where you're making it already easy for yourself. I don't have to go in the closet, pull it out, pick it up. No, it's right here. Already ready in my line of vision to where I can see it. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm basically just going to fold all these leggings i don't know if i'm gonna do all leggings or like one leggings one tops but i have a lot more leggings than tops so that's what we're gonna do right now i'm just going to put these leggings in the bins like this obviously this is not aesthetically pleasing at all but i'm not really worried about aesthetically pleasing i'm worried about how am i gonna reach the goals that I want to reach. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Just joshing. Let me spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song. Give me that tempo. Told Pooh he'll fool with the shit. Told her don't let her friends know. All right, you guys. The only thing I have left to do up stairs still is this i leave so many jackets and clothes and stuff um in a pile if i try it on it doesn't get hung back up it just doesn't it sits in a big old pile until i hang it back up and so this is just what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang everything back up. I would like to do, um, maybe after my birthday, I'm thinking like April, do a spring cleaning. Let me know if you would like that in like a video, like a spring cleaning, because I am prepared to go crazy and stupid and crazy and then stupid again, because I just have a lot of clothes in here that I don't wear, don't use. Let me know if you want me to sell them. I would sell them for so cheap. Like literally five dollars. That's it. <laughs> Take it or leave it. So some of this stuff literally has the tag still on it. Or like just isn't my style anymore. Or like I bought it because I was trying to go outside of my style and then I'm looking at it like. So let me know if you want me to sell my clothes i could definitely do that i think the poshmark account is still up i'm not sure or let me know like what sites you would want me to sell it on i know there's like poshmark depop definitely need to do some spring Harley and Sadie also went to the park today, got their nails trimmed and everything. I'm going to wash my bedding when I come back because my mom is actually going to be sleeping in here with Harley and Sadie. Um, she looks comfortable. I don't even want to get her up. Anyways, this is our laundry basket so i'm just gonna throw in all the dirty clothes and then do that there's always laundry like i think 
I would never hire a laundry service right now but let me get one child and I swear to god I will be giving my laundry to somebody like it's not even funny okay because I can't even keep a track of the laundry that goes on now I can't even imagine a child or multiple children you know what is like so interesting on the internet that I've seen a lot of people talk about and I definitely feel the same way is like um when the woman has to like delegate out tasks in the relationship I always felt literally crazy like I felt bad shit okay because I always felt like why am I so overwhelmed with like all these tasks when like you could be just doing them as well you know what I'm saying like if you live here you can do these tasks do you not see that the toilet's dirty do you not see x y and z things you know what I'm saying like and this is like no I'm not even just talking about like my relationship specifically this whole time I literally thought I was crazy for like getting very overwhelmed for basic like chores and stuff but it's like it's true like it's not the woman's job to delegate out tasks I'm not your mother um you can like do it if you see you live in this house if you see it do it I've got a, oh ow I'm gonna prioritize my hair rope this month and I want to make a big batch of rosemary water everybody keeps telling me that it will help me grow my hair and I really want to grow my hair back out it's just a priority of mine and I haven't been taking it seriously and I want to start taking it seriously because so I just like cut my hair it's always just at this length forever for the past like four years so I need to grow this hair out ASAP so we're gonna make some rosemary water and I have these rosemary leaves because I've literally had these forever. It says Best Buy 90-2012. Really fucking good. <laughs> They're like 12 years old. Need to get some new rosemary, but I'm not going to until I use this up. It still works. I always use this to steam my face. Like literally always. Ah, right, bye. I am going to basically just steam my face over the rosemary water. I brought a little towel. I like to use a thin towel because I get really, really hot. This is what my mom used to make me do when I was younger. And it feels literally so good. So I'm just going to sit here for like 10 minutes to do a steam. All right, you guys, it's going good. Do you see my sweat? Oh, there's definitely sweat beads in here. <laughs> it's fine. I'm still going to put it on my hair. I have a steamer for your face, but this is just better. I don't know. I like the pot method better. I don't know. I'm having a blast. Anyways, just wanted to let you know. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, you guys. The rosemary water is done. I put them in these like vintage juice containers. I made one for my mom because she's been having a lot of hair loss. I almost said postpartum. Having <laughs> a lot of um, hair loss after COVID, like post COVID hair loss, which I know a lot of people have been having. And I've heard that rosemary water works good for that too. So I made her one as well. Stairs, gotta get vacuumed because I never do them. And if you have pets, <laughs> they get so nasty. They throw in dirt on my whole name. Only gets worse when you know things. You don't see the perks of this whole thing. But you get real on a pill and I like it. You just like my sidekick. I just want to ride, fulfill all your desire. Keep you in the front, never in love, Beyonce. Girls love to fuck with your passions. Girls take when go missing. Y'all, you ain't no different. These days it's hard to meet women. Feel like my love life is finished. I've been before and committed. That's why I'm in this position. I'm getting to let somebody in. No, 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 no.